Okay, so here's the tutorial on how I want you to export your project for turning it in. Um, so if you're done editing and you're all complete, what you need to make sure you have is your timeline panel selected or your sequence icon selected. So if this PCT sequence that I have here is the one that I want to export, then either have that tab open and have the timeline panel selected or come over here and make sure I have it selected in my project panel. All right, so this clip is uh, 59 seconds, so it's pretty much the max of what your project should be when you're turning it in. Uh, remember, no longer than a minute. So you're gonna have it selected and just come, going to come up here to File, Export, and choose that top option, Media. So you get your Export Settings dialog box. Um, one good habit to double check is come down here at the very bottom where you see it says source range. By default it says sequence in and out and that's fine if you have in and out points already in your timeline and you're just wanting to export a small segment of your whole sequence using those in and out points. Um, otherwise you probably are just wanting to export the entire sequence. So go ahead and check that and then come over here on the other side where it says export settings and I want you to export it as a QuickTime. I like MOV files, so you'll see as soon as I change it to QuickTime, this extension here in the file name changed to .mov, so that's what I want. Now you're gonna come and choose one of these settings that matches the frame rate that you selected. Okay, so if I'm editing at 24 frames per second, then I could choose this one, or we could go with this HD option 24 frames per second, and that looks better because I lost the letterbox. So really remember um, what frame rate you have um, been editing in. And if you don't remember, let me cancel out of this, come over here to your sequence and see right here next to my sequence it says frame rate and I'm editing at 23.9 frames per second. Okay, so we wanna export to something similar. So now I'll go back to file export media. You'll notice this time I have my sequence in my project panel selected, so either one will work, the timeline or the sequence icon. I'm gonna change this again to entire sequence. Format, quick time, uh, let's do 720p at 24 frames. Okay, um, the next option is your output name. And this is really important because this is where you change the name of your file and where it's gonna export to. So it doesn't look like a menu because there's no drop down arrow, but it is a blue link, so you do need to check um, check it and change it. So just click on that blue link. We're gonna rename it. So if it's your project, you know you could call it um, Sarah Final Project One. Oh, not two, <laughs> one, or however you want to name it. Okay, um, Project One. And then your last name is fine. Um, something with your name and the name of the project, okay? Um, then decide where you're gonna save it to. So here you have a quick drop down menu here. Remember this arrow next to it gives you a larger browser window. So you can save it where you need to. If you're gonna save it to your thumb drive, you know, select your thumb drive and save it there. Desktop, whatever. Okay, and then hit save. And it doesn't automatically start exporting because you have a few more options to look through. Um, you have your export video and export audio check boxes. Um, I didn't delete the audio from the sequence that I'm showing you all. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that audio button because remember for the um, project parameters, no audio is allowed, it's a silent story. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that and you'll notice my preset switch to custom. Okay, so that's all fine. Um, the rest of this will match the other settings that were already in that preset. So 24 frames per second, 1280 by 720. Um, quality's fine. H.264 is a good codec for QuickTime. So you're good. And the rest of this you don't have to worry about for now. So really, that's all you need to do, okay? Make sure it says entire sequence. Switch this to QuickTime. Switch this to um, a setting that matches your frame rate. And if you've already deleted your audio in here, then uh, you don't have to worry about this checkbox, okay? So now when you're done, you just come down here and you hit the export button. And it shouldn't take very long to do.
Okay, so I went ahead and canceled that one and re-exported it so y'all don't have to sit and watch that happen. So as I've exported it, I can come here and find where I saved it to. Okay, and so you'll see it wherever you know it is that you saved it <laughs> and that you named it. Um, and so you'll see it says QuickTime Movie, the extension is .mob, and so this is the file that I want you to upload to Blackboard. Okay, I don't need your Premiere Pro project file for now. Um, you can just hang on to that. So just upload the finished MOV along with your scanned storyboard and your document listing your camera shots and angles in order of appearance in your video. Okay, one other thing I will show you. Um, so let's go back to our sequence. If you do want to come and delete the audio first, remember you can just quickly hit this link selection button and that will allow you to select your audio and video separately. Or again, hold down the Alt Option button on a Mac while the link selection is still on and that's the shortcut for overriding it and delete your audio, okay? So either one, turn off your link selection, highlight your audio for all of your clips, not just, you know, I only have one clip, you'll have several. Um, delete your audio so that's not even an issue anymore. And now re-export. And I'll show you another export setting. So come up to File again, Export, choose Media. Again, under Source Range, Entire Sequence. Um, and this time I'm just going to click the checkbox for Match Sequence Settings. And that's going to give me an MPEG. And an MPEG is fine too. So I want either an MOV or an MPEG, okay? Um, so if you get kind of lost and confused doing this step and uh, you choose a weird option here and it looks funny, it distorted your video, um, a safe bet is just choosing this match sequence settings. Rename it. So this is version 2. Hit save. And this time I don't care about these because I've already deleted my audio so I don't even need to worry about it. And now I'm going to hit export again. And so again, I won't uh, sit here and make y'all watch it export. But it's going to save to my thumb drive where I've saved it. It's an MPEG so you can upload either an MPEG or MOV. And that's how you adjust your settings for export. It's really very easy. Um, the most important thing is you make sure you have your timeline panel or your sequence over here selected and not your source monitor because um, then it will just export that clip that you have selected instead of your edited sequence. All right, uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions and uh, I look forward to seeing y'all's final projects.